AmeriCorps is a national organization. Um, a lot of people refer to it as the smallest branch of the military. Um, you know, we have a commitment to serve. We have an oath when we join. Um, it's Most programs are roughly about 10 months. My program was from the middle of August to the end of May, but I was also a half-timer. So some programs, if you're full-time, might run longer than your half-timers that you're working with do. Um, so that being said, there's three different branches. There's the AmeriCorps State and National. There's the AmeriCorps NCCC, AmeriCorps VISTA, and FEMA Corps. Um, I'm a part of AmeriCorps State and National, so I don't really know a whole lot about NCCC, um, FEMA Corps, and VISTA. I know somewhat, so if you have any questions, I am more than welcome to answer what I know about them. Um, so what State and National is, is it is, I'm going to read it offline because it sounds better when I read it off of their website. But okay, so AmeriCorps State and National supports a wide range of local service programs that engage thousands of AmeriCorps Americans in intensive community service each year. So basically, they give grants. Um, every they work with organizations. So I work with 4-H Capital. Um, there's 4-H Capital kind of everywhere. If you're from the South, um, right now I'm serving in Austin, Texas. So. If you're from Texas, you're probably one of my friends watching this and you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're from some other city, um, 4-H is mainly agriculture. Um, we work with goats and livestock, but we also teach engineering. Um, so what happens is working with AmeriCorps, 4-H um, er receives a grant from the government um, that covers all of the AmeriCorps members' living stipends, um, education award, materials for the program, like mine's a teaching program, so we need teaching supplies and materials for our classes and so on and so forth. They receive grants and... Oh yeah, um, so there is an age limit with state and national. Um, you have to be 17 to apply, but there's no high ending number. So like I was 18 when I started my program, um, but we, and most of the people in my program were 23, 24, but we also had a lady that I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say she was 56, 60. Um, she was a lot older than we were. Um, I really didn't know her too well because I didn't really work with her a whole lot, but she was older. Um, but I know with AmeriCorps Vista, you have to be at least 24, um, you have to have a degree. There, so there's a lot of different qualifications depending on which branch you're applying to. Um, but I think I think between all the branches, the benefits are the same. So with AmeriCorps State National, they you receive a living allowance, um, which differs between half-time and full-time. So I was half-time this past year. And I, for AmeriCorps, for my living stipend, I received about $700 every month. Um, f to pay my rent, to pay my bills, whatever. Um, and then we also received a mileage reimbursement. So I technically got about $800, 850 with my mileage. Um, and then full-time, full-time received a, receives a little over 1000 every month. I think it comes out to like 1076 or 994 something right around $1,000. And then you also receive the mileage check. Um, and mileage, mileage for my program, I don't know how any other program works because I've only done 4-H, um, but ours was, we got mileage from the office to the school we taught at. So, and no, it wasn't, it wasn't round trip either. It was directly from there every day. So my schools were 8 miles, 10 miles, 11 miles away. So I was making pretty good mileage checks just from going to school. So it covered it covered my gas or it covered I used it to pay my car insurance or I used it to pay my phone bill. You know, it was really nice to have the extra couple dollars in my pocket cuz my car is really good on gas. So a tank of gas lasts me 3 weeks, two and a half weeks depending on what I went and did other than work, like if I went out or, you know, drove to the mall or something. Um so, and then you also get, you also receive health benefits, which, depending on what age you are, if you're on your parents' insurance, I wouldn't suggest getting the AmeriCorps insurance. Um, I personally did not sign up for it because of the main reason with pharmacy. So you get, 
you know, you get covered for your, you know, like every other insurance, you get covered to have, you know, to go get medication. But with AmeriCorps, with your medication, you have to pay up front for everything. So, I don't know, let's say I needed, I needed like, I don't, I don't even know because I don't take medication. Um, let's say I needed like sleeping pills or something, which I don't, but... I would have to pay up front, let's say there were $100 for a bottle of 20 I would have to pay that $100 up front, and then once once my insurance got notified that I bought medication, they would reimburse me. So you were out of money right off the bat, but then you'd get reimbursed later on. And to me, that didn't sound fun. Um, so I'm on my parents' insurance until so I'm 25, so I just stuck with that. I have good insurance, um, but it doesn't hurt to have a second insurance, I guess, back up, like, if you're in a car accident or something. But I, from my experience, I wouldn't suggest getting it. You know, it just it didn't make sense to me to have it. Um, and then the other, the other benefit is if you have kids, because I know, I don't know, stuff happens, um, that you will, you can get in birth. Some programs you're eligible to receive child care. Um, so while you're working, if you have to send your kid to daycare, they'll reimburse you for that. Um, I know not every, every program does that though. Um, and then state and national, I don't believe does it. My program didn't do it, but some programs give you a relocation allowance. Let's say like I'm from Ohio. I'm a Clevelander. Woo, go Cleveland, Indians, whatever. Um, and I moved, for my program, I moved from Cleveland to Austin, Texas, which is where I'm currently at right now, 100 degrees outside. Um, but, but I did not receive a relocation thing. I kind of had to save up money and book my way down here. But the good thing about State National is the fact that there's programs everywhere. Um, like I said, I'm from Ohio, and I'm doing my program in Texas. Um, the good thing about that, especially, like, if you're, you're my age, you know, I've always had, like, I've always wanted to, like, get out and see what's in the United States. Um, so, like, I, let's say I've always wanted to go to California, but I didn't know how to go, and I didn't have a job lined up, but I wanted to go there. AmeriCorps would be the way for you to see the world like that. You know, our programs are roughly only 10 months, so if you hate where you're at, it's not a full commitment. You don't have to stay, unlike the Army that's, what, six years? You're signing up for six years of being miserable. If you're miserable in AmeriCorps, you don't have to stick out with it longer than less than a year. It's not a full lifetime commitment. Um... And, you know, I chose I chose to be in Austin just because I graduated high school in Fort Worth. Um, and it's only a two-and-a-half, three-hour drive, so I was close to, like, my mom and I was close to my friends. But I was still going to be on my own and be able to do what I wanted as a college kid. And Austin's a college town, so there's a ton of stuff to do here. The other good thing about AmeriCorps is the resume opportunities you get. Putting that you have AmeriCorps on your resume is a very cool thing to do. Um, since I joined, I've had a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have necessarily been able to do because I didn't do AmeriCorps. Um, you know, my program, we're teaching. And so after, come, when I was done in May, I had eight months of teaching experience at 19 years old. You know, I don't know a lot of people my age that can say that unless they've done like an internship. And that doesn't usually come until you're almost done with college. And I'm technically still a freshman in college. So that's the other good thing. You know, it really helps your resume and it really helps you network. You know, we do trainings at the end of the year um, that are called at Life After AmeriCorps. And we do trainings over financial planning and networking and how to get your LinkedIn profile correct and how to go to an event and say, here's my business card. Email me about what we were talking about. We'll continue this conversation. And just how to be professional. I know I've talked about it too, but the other cool thing is like you meet all kinds of different people. There were people, I think there were only three people from Austin that were in my program. I had, There were people in my program that were from Minnesota and from Connecticut and from Florida and from, I had, there were a lot of people from California in my program. Um, there were a couple girls I went to Berkeley. Um... So yeah, it's just a whole huge mix of people, and there were 32 people in my program. So there was a huge mix of people. And you still have the clicks, and you still have this and that, but 
it was so diverse and it was so fun. And even though I was the, I'm the youngest person in my program. Everybody in my program was 23, 24. I'm 19. I was 18 when I started. Um, so it was really cool to like do the same thing that everybody else was doing, even though they were older and more experienced than I was. So that's the other cool thing. Um, I don't know. I would promote AmeriCorps. If I could go back and do it again, I would. Um, I tell everybody about AmeriCorps because it's just, it's really good. If you don't know what you want to do with your life or you want to move somewhere else, like you want to get out for a little while and test your water, it's a really good program to do that. You know, it's just, you get a lot of opportunity with it and I would recommend it to everybody. So that being said, before I get talking too much about my experience, I'm going to end this video and start the next one um, that's talking about my, my, mainly my experience, what my program is. Um, so check it out. If you have any questions, message me on here, comment below, or message me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next video.